In this video, we'll show you how to add Google Analytics 4 to your WordPress website. It's completely free to use and it can show you a really extensive range of metrics, starting from the most basic ones such as just how many visitors your pages get, how much time visitors spend on each page, you can see where your visitors come from, whether it's organic search, page search, email campaigns or videos, the browser and OS technology used by visitors and it can even show you a real-time user snapshot. First, log in with your Google account at analytics.google.com and click on Start Measuring. Choose a name for the account and the property you will create, so I'll just enter Hector Haast. Now enter your business information. I'll just select small business size and I'll use it to measure customer engagement with my site or app. Press Create. Accept the terms. Now that the property has been created, you're almost ready to start collecting data. To set up data collection for your website or app, choose from where you will be collecting data. The web, an Android app or an iOS app. Select web as the platform since we'll be measuring the performance of our website. HTTPS www.hectohas.com I'll just enter Hectohas for the stream name. And below you can see all the different types of data that we'll start to measure. Page views, scrolls, outbound clicks, site search and so on. Press the create stream button. And now it's time for the last step where you'll be given instructions on how to install the actual Google tag. Basically Google Analytics uses a simple JavaScript code to gather all of this data. So all you need to do is to add this code to your website. Google gives you the option to scan your website and determine the platform on which it's based in case you're not sure what your website is built on. So if I scan it, it correctly detected that we use WordPress on our website. So it offers us instructions to install the site tag via one of these two plugins, Monster Insights or the official Google plugin called SiteKit. The other option is to install it manually and you can see that this is the actual Google tag that we have to add on every page on our website right after the head element. That's actually really easy to do with WordPress. You just need to go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance menu, theme file editor, click on the theme header to edit the header.php file on your active theme. And that's where you just need to paste your actual Google site tag. So that's the manual way of doing it. The other method is to use a plugin. Let's see how we can add and configure SiteKit. Go to your WordPress dashboard, Plugins, Add New, type in SiteKit, there it is, click Install and Activate. Congratulations, the SiteKit plugin is now activated. Go to the dashboard, you can see that we are presented with this setup wizard. Click the checkbox next to Connect Google Analytics as part of your setup and click on Sign in with Google. Make sure to grant all the necessary permissions, otherwise the plugin will not work. This is the official Google plugin, so it's perfectly safe to do that. Press the continue button. To verify that you own Hectohast, Google adds a verification token to your site's HTML code. The plugin will do that automatically for us, so press the verify button and allow some time for the process to complete. To show metrics in your SiteKit dashboard, allow Hectohast to access your Google account data. Let's allow that. To see how people find your site on Google search, have Google add Hectohast to Search Console for you and connect it to SiteKit. That's important too, so let's set it up. To understand how visitors find and use your site, have SiteKit add Hectohast to Google Analytics for you. Click Next. And you can see that the plugin has automatically selected our newly created Google Analytics 4 property for our website Hectohas, so that's correct and we just need to press the Configure Analytics button. Additional permissions required, you need to grant SiteKit permissions to create a new Analytics property on your behalf. Let's proceed. And that's all, congrats on completing the setup for Analytics. You can see that it's currently gathering data because we've never previously used it, but you get the idea. You'll see all of your Google Analytics data directly under your WordPress dashboard, which is quite handy indeed, and is the main advantage compared to manually adding the Google tag inside the header PHP file of your WordPress theme, although it does involve installing an additional plugin and going through some extra steps. Thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to our channel.